New York City, so everybody uh, is out eating. We're at Don Giovanni's, but the reason we're here uh, is we're here for the International New York Fe Film Festival, and the director is sitting beside me, Diane Lenska. 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 Yeah, so I'm good. No cue cards, and I remembered it. It's good. So, are you excited? Like, like every year, do you get shocked at the the different films that? Uh, are entered in your film festival? The festival has been growing. It's really been growing, and we're getting a much larger response of filmmakers from all around the world. We also accept screenplays as well, so that number has increased. So for a festival that started a very small, but here right in Times uh, Square, it has been making a lot of uh, great progress, and a lot of filmmakers have been appreciating what Do we are offering. So is your criteria extremely rigid? for a film to make it into the screening process of your film festival? We have, we offer opportunities both from filmmakers who have no budget films to films that are produced with name talent going up to several million dollars. It's probably one of the few film festivals that give opportunities for all levels of filmmakers to network and have their film screen. But it doesn't, it doesn't matter what the budget is, the film's got to be good. It has to be decent, uh, yes, film, yes. So, so what, what, what attracts you to a film? Is it the dialogue? Is it the cinematography? Is it the music? I mean... Well, I, well, we have various judges. We have rotating judges. They're just, they're the regular filmmakers, and we also use just ordinary people, because sometimes when you have judges who are filmmakers, they're going to look at a film completely different from the way somebody sitting in an audience views the film. They might be overcritical because they're right. filmmakers. Yes, so we want to get a balanced judging on the film and really have films that are appreciated by an audience as well. So what we do, we grade the films on various aspects. It will be, it could be the uh, audio, it will be the technical, it could be the genre. Are they a first-time filmmaker? What level or what kind of budget did they have? How big of a crew? And we offer awards within various levels of what the filmmaker is actually working with. So a filmmaker with a smaller budget but a decent product can still get an award and recognition in our film. So technically they're not in competition with a $5 million film, but they're ju being judged independently within the budgets and the confines that they're working with. So we have three different levels, films that are made under $25,000, films that are made between $25,000 and up to $250,000, and then over $250,000 to several million dollars, yes. the budgets. Well, I, I interviewed Al Pacino, and he said, if you got a great script, mm -hmm. and you have decent actors, not huge yes. actors, you'll have a great movie. Yes. But if you have a script, and you have the best actors in the world, they're not gonna save it. That's true. Let's just slow it down. Grab my feet. Let me ask you something. Do you like film now that you have been in a few movies? Sure. Uh, or do you still like stand up, which is your That's bread and butter? That's a great question because I like working on the films. I like working on your film. I like working in television. I'm never going to stop live performing. The reason I ask you is because now we're going to go back to Diane, because Diane's an actor and she's been in film. So I, I asked her before when we were off camera do you like uh, you know, doing live performance stage? or film. And a lot of actors I've talked to, they get it, like Al Pacino loves to do live for exactly yeah. what you said. Mm -hmm. The audience is there, you're feeling their energy or you're feeling their hate, you're feeling their loathing of you or you're feeling the love of you. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's food for the soul for an actor. You're connecting with your audience. We're in film you're going to be connecting with the, with the crew, the filmmaker, or the director. The but, director, you're, you're performing yes, for an audience. Yes, really, and it's true. And But with an audience, you're reaching out to them. You're getting the vibes from them, and they can help you make that performance better, or even their reactions to things. Sometimes, did you ever have, like you said, you do comedy, where something that you didn't think was funny that you said or did that got a big reaction from an audience? Yes. And it surprised it comes you? comes out of nowhere. <laughs> And you're shocked, like, how did it happen this night? Last night it bombed, but it's one of those well, things. Well, you got a different audience, and yeah. you know, like, like I was telling you, we were at a film festival a couple of weeks ago, and the comedian came out. He was a little harsh, but he made me laugh. It was Gilbert Godfrey, he made me laugh. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but uh, he, for some people, he bombed, he, he offended some people. 
But anyways, live performance. You like doing? You, you love doing theater too? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. The only difference is this. Joe Cortese. When you do a film, it's there forever. Right. When you do a live audience, if you didn't catch it that night, mm -hmm. that's, that's then you got to catch it another. Yeah, yeah. That's now, true. now it's even better than before. Now, if you do a film, it's digital. It's on a hard drive. It's there forever. I wonder why sometimes I cry. I wonder why someday I'll die. I wonder why I just can't fly. I wonder all the time. I wonder why I just can't see. Hey, welcome everyone to the International New York Film Festival's award ceremony. Award. This is the trophy for the best feature over $250,000 to Frank D'Angelo for the last big save. <laughs> now, in 2019, the International New York Film Festival decided to add a special award to a person in the film industry. It could be a filmmaker. It can be an actor, but somebody who has a body of work that they have created over a period of time that has stood the test of time that we're going to be honoring yearly at our film festival. So this year, And this is a beautiful, special, gorgeous, heavy oh. custom trophy. <laughs> that we are going to be presenting to someone whose career spans over four decades. <laughs> who many of you, <laughs> who many of you have seen, I'm quite sure, in many TV shows, in many films. One of the first that you probably saw him in was as Tony Rosado in The Godfather 2. And he's also in the last big save as Louis Brown, the Lifetime Achievement Award to Danny Aiello. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I wanted it kept to. secret. I wanted it's to. better than the Academy Award. <laughs> I love being here with all of you. To see some of you probably get your first awards, and it's, re it's really thrilling to, mm -hmm. to sit and watch new movie makers mm -hmm. sitting in the audience here along with me. And uh, I just love the experience. I wish I had it as young as you guys are. I started in this, this business at the age of 36. And when someone came over to offer me a, a role, I, I was flabbergasted. I said, I can't do that. I'm not an actor. And I'll never forget what Louis LaRusso II said to me. He said, you are an actor. You just don't know it yet. Wow. And I wish you all the best. You're with <laughs> And you dug that hole 